This is case remote package. There are one case remote and some accessories in this package. There are a case remote, a quick menu, a hand strap, a charge cable, and a horseshoe adapter. This USB cable is only for charge purpose. Go to our website caseremote.com and download the app for iOS or Android system. You also need to prepare a camera, of course, and the USB cable along with your camera. You can also use a high quality USB cable, but not the cable in case remote package. That's only for charge. Use the horseshoe adapter to mount case remote to camera. Connect the case remote with camera by USB cable. Turn on case remote and the camera Wait for the blue light stable. Go to settings, Wi-Fi, and connect to case remote network. You need input password in the first time. You can find password on the back side of case remote and the quick menu. Start case remote app. There is a setup guide. You can go into the app to control your camera. Turn on the live view. 2.0 version app support full screen live view. Also supports touch focus function to choose different focus point. You can check the setting information in full screen mode. There is still out focus function. You can also manually focus. You can easily remote control parameter settings. The parameter change effects can be seen from live view. You can remote trigger the shutter. Then go to the gallery. Wirelessly transfer the photo back to your smartphone or pad. You can directly go to your smartphone folder to view the downloaded photo in detail. The EXF information is also available for each photo. The photo can be shared online easily. The photo management function is improved. You can easily find different formats of photo, including JPEG, RAW, and also video file. Enable auto download and turn off live view. You can take photo. The photo will automatically download to your device. The advanced functions are in the right side. The first one is focus stacking. It can set up to 9 shoots, different focus steps. You can turn on live view and adjust the parameters for initial shooting. Then press shutter icon to start. The second one is HDR. 
you can adjust the shooting number, shutter speed, aperture, and ISO, the start parameter, and the change steps. You can still turn on live view and adjust the parameters for initial shooting. Then press shutter icon to start. Video control is the most important update in 2.0 version app. This function includes live view, touch focus, parameter settings, and all other normal photography control functions. You can use your smartphone or pad as second screen to monitor or remote control video recording. After initial setting, press shutter icon to start. Time lapse function changes a little bit. You can set up shooting numbers up to 1000. Start time and interval time are the same as previous version. You can still turn on live view and adjust the parameters for initial shooting. Then press shutter icon to start. In settings, there are many useful functions, including auto download, auto focus, add GPS, and so on and so forth. Here, you can change the manual focus step size. Here, you can add grid and change grid color. Focus picking is a new and very useful function in app 2.0. When you touch focus, the red peak line will indicate the focus point, help you to focus. Histogram is another new and useful function in app 2.0. You can choose different color space. In live view mode, there is histogram. You can read the histogram and adjust the parameters easier. When you start the app, you can see the version information. If your firmware is not the latest one, you can update it. The updating process will take 3 minutes. Make sure you do not disturb it, otherwise it may damage case remote. After click update, just be patient for several minutes. Update process just requires you wait for several minutes.